Hey guys, I just got a YouTube comment for my Sony HDR CX240 camcorder product review. Uh, this guy named Mr. Nobody asked me to make a video on how to burn media to a DVD. So I'm, I'm going to be using Pinnacle Studio 18. Now, if, if you uh, if you have it installed on your computer, just open it and go to Author. Next, you want to go to Disk Menus, and you've got all of these uh, disk menus right here. So you've got um, I, I'm just going to use these because they're really easy to use. Just going to drag it right here. And then I'm going to drag this other one right here. Uh, you can spend some time trying to find one. And then once you have it, just import it right here. You've got a main menu and then a place for a scene selection. So it, it, you'll notice it says your text here. So if you want to make changes to that, just go here and click edit. And then once you're done with that, import your media. I'm just going to import the mummy that, I, that I, I made. And to make it, um, to make it easier to work with, um, I'm, I'm going to make chapters by, I'm going to split the media into multiple sections. I'm just going to make four chapters and then remove this other part. Alright, so go back to home and you don't have to divide it into these certain sections. I'm just giving an example. You could choose certain spots that you want to divide the chapters. So after you choose this text and everything, you're going to go here to the right side of the second menu, the scene selection, go to chapter wizard. And then you're just going to apply, apply this to the whole movie. And just hit OK. You see, you've got multiple chapters right here. So all you've got to do is just move these where you want it to. So this is where the chapter 2 is going to start. Um, I'm going to move this over where chapter 4 is going to be. Remove chapter 6 and 7. Actually, there is no 7. <laughs> Uh, just go to uh, move this to th chapter 3 and as you can see right here these thumbnails have have automatically been adjusted to the chapters and you've got this last one right here your last chapter and you've got these extra ones so you can just remove these actually to remove those just go here and just remove these and then hit OK. And you can you can make changes to the text here also, not just the main menu. And don't forget, before you burn this to a DVD, you want to make sure that it all works together. So for an example, you go to the main menu, you see that the play movie has the button C1 right here. And this has a question mark. You want to link this to menu 2 so hit the question mark drop down arrow go to menu 2 and then as we move these scenes or chapters it automatically found a place this one's got a C1 C2 C3 and a C4 Okay, so after you're done making your DVD menu, you are all set to export your uh, disk image. A disk image is basically the content that's going to be on burned to the DVD. Now, the way I've learned it is to start out by making the disk image, and then after it's done making the disk image, to insert a blank DVD and then to burn the disk image onto the DVD. So I'll show you how to do that. Just go to export, the top right corner, Pinnacle Studio. All right, 
takes you to um, Studio Exporter. And you want to choose best quality if it's not already on it because, of course, you want your DVD to be best quality. I think if you're having problems, you should probably do fit to disc or custom. You could choose advanced settings as well if there's a certain way you want it to to burn to the DVD. So what you want to do is go to create image and then it will ask you where you want to to put the disk image. I'll just choose my desktop and hit OK. Because my media is really short, it shouldn't take very long, so I will resume the video once it is done exporting. Okay, the export has completed. I'm going to go to my desktop so I could show you. Here's the one that we have created. Now this is called New Project. I forgot to rename it. You can rename it um, right here where it says disk name. You could put a disk name for it. But since I already have it um, exported, I'm just going to resume with the video and not worry about it. So next thing you want to do is burn image. So after, once you get this window right here, you're going to go to disk image folder, source. You're going to choose your destination where you got that uh, new project disk. And then you're going to drop down this arrow and choose video TS. Now you've got this video TS here. And you've got these other options if you want to eject after burning and close dialog after burning. You could do any of these. And here you can enter in a name for your disk. Horror film. And then you could start the burn. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to waste like a, a new blank DVD. So I'm just going to end the video right here. If you have any questions, just ask me. I'll respond to you right away. And uh, thank you for watching this video.